Hello, you are watching Tulip Swift. Today we are discussing Avalon High by Meg Cabot. Finished this book last night. It was so good. I'm going to tell you the main idea of this book if you haven't read it and maybe you will be interested in it. And if you have read the book, I will go through all the spoilers and tell you my reactions. So Avalon High is an amazing Meg Cabot book. It is a Disney movie, which may be how you know it or maybe you've seen the movie. And the movie was really good. I saw the movie one time, like four years ago, but I remember I really liked it. It's basically a retelling of like King Arthur, Guinevere, Lancelot, Merlin, like in high school. I ended up listening to this book through the old fashioned CDs that I put in my car and it was pretty good. She did a great job, except her voices for the male characters were not very good, especially the romantic interest, Will, the way she did his voice. He's like, oh, okay. So anyways, there's all this twist crazy ending stuff. So if you haven't read the book, do so before finishing this video. This is definitely one of Meg Cabot's best books. I can't wait to meet her at book con. It's gonna be amazing. I want her to sign it and also sign Forever Princess because my heart. Five stars to this book. I loved it so much. The audiobook was okay. Okay, spoilers. So in the movie, she is Arthur, and that was like so cool, and I love that, but my sister, who had already read it, she was immediately like, oh, that's not like the book, she's not Arthur, she's Lady of the Lake. I got confused. I thought Lady of Shalott was Lady of the Lake, but those are actually two completely separate things. So at the end, when it was like a surprise, she's actually Lady of the Lake, I was like, wasn't she Lady of the Lake the whole time? But it was actually two completely different characters. And then Elaine was just like so smart and powerful and funny. She was definitely more courageous. I think even a little bit more mature. Like I said, Will, his voice is really dopey. Of course I still love Will. They don't get together to the very end. They kiss and then that's like everything they say in that scene? I mean, this isn't like City of Heavenly Fire. God forbid Clockwork Princess, that's a whole nother story. Anyways, the idea that her parents named her Elaine was kind of clever because it threw you off at the end. Will is his middle name. His first name is Arthur, which that was a crazy plot twist. I love that part. And it was just so funny because it was really obvious. His name was literally a. William Wagner. Like, she knew his first initial was A the whole time. And then we finally found out it was Arthur. That was so crazy because it was, like, in your face the whole time. I kind of didn't like how, in the end, she still hasn't agreed that this was real. She's still kind of like, there's no such thing as magic. Like, I wish she kind of, like, accepted it at the end. I think the book spent too much time with Will and Jennifer. After the whole conundrum on the sailboat, everything is out in the open. Jennifer is cheating on Will with Lance. Lance isn't in school to turn in his project, so of course, being the generous person that Elaine is, she decides to cover for him and tell Mr. Morton what's really going on. She tells him Lance was going behind his best friend's back with his best friend's girlfriend. Mr. Morton says, We're doomed, he whispers to the wall. They've won, he continued. They've won again. This is about the never-ending battle of good versus evil. It's about one man born with the capability of saving this planet from ultimately destroying itself and the forces of darkness that are keeping him from doing so. I'm not sick, Elaine, he said except at heart. Like, just his really strong reaction was so funny. Like, we know it was actually the future of the world and like, it was actually a really big deal. But if you just pretend that Mr. Morton was so caught up in the high school drama, it just makes it really funny. Will reminds me of like, a Captain America at the beginning of the movie or something when like Chris Evans is like standing up for the kid who's getting like picked on and he takes the guy in the fight. You know what I'm talking about. He's so cliche and like stands up to like the football players and stuff, which was like such a nice touch. I love Arthur from like the show Merlin. He lived up to it for the most part. It was so perfectly put together and it's a standalone, which I cannot thank her enough for because don't we all have enough to read these days it's such a quick read i don't even have that much to say about it except i really enjoy it thanks for watching bye